Hello, this is how we use CorelDRAW. So these are my CorelDRAW, CorelDRAW 2020. When you click on it, it will bring to you, you to that interface. So we are already in, then you select a new document. Okay. Okay, those are measurements. When in your Corel draw are new, you need to uh, set the measurements, but mine are already set. So I like my Corel draw in a landscape. So after setting it in landscape, you come and select the letter A. The letter A is uh, for the writings when you want to do any writing. So you select the letter A, then it will bring to you that cursor. Then you type the words manually on a keyboard. So I type Jigra and then I want to expand it. The right way to expand these words, you click one corner of the word then you stretch it don't use any other place just click on the corners so i want to highlight it then change uh, on the on the, my measurements actually i normally use centimeters because centimeters are very easy to, to 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 read and you don't need any conversions so i normally use centimeters so you, you can see the more i stretch this the more the the, the figures change on the measurements so I highlight it then we change the we change the fonts so actually there are so many fonts and you can uh, we have fonts in Corel Draw we have fonts in fonts finder so there are so many fonts that you can choose so let me go with this so after choosing that font I enlarged it again you enlarge it according to the measurement that you've taken from the t-shirt or the material you want to print then you mirror it you see after mirroring you export so after uh, exportation uh, you select HPGL, then rename it. The reason as to why we are mirroring it is because on the uh, vinyl, we will print on the opposite side of the vinyl. So when we take it to the um, right direction, is when the name will reflect in order. Watch out my next video now to use AdCut. Thank you.